All right, so this video I'm going to show you how to make um, these kind of simplified bay windows. They don't look exactly like how a bay window looks, but kind of gives that same effect. So for this, you're going to want the polygon and a pyramid. So the polygon has six sides. I'm going to make the pyramid have six sides. There we go. And the size is 17.32 by 20. So I'm going to do the same thing on here. 17.32 and 20. Don't really need it that pointy, so I'm going to bring it down. Yeah, five looks good. So I'm going to I'm going to bring it up a little ways so I can stick it on top and align it. So obviously they're not really at the same angle. So with my yellow one, I'm going to rotate it. Let's see, and that actually looks a little smaller. So still not quite aligned, it looks like. I'm looking at the corners of these creases. Some of you are going to have to be on the outside of the circle to kind of get free reign. If you're on the inside, it jumps around to like 45 degrees, things like that. I don't know why this keeps getting smaller. All right, I think that looks pretty darn close. Oh, this mouse is so sensitive. I just need to lower it so it's actually on there. Down close enough. There we go. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it and mirror it so it flips upside down. And then I'm just going to move that down to the bottom. So I have that same little pyramid effect on the bottom. So now that that looks all good, I'm, when you're grouping things, you gotta be really careful not to grab stuff in the back. So I'm gonna group it all, make it my white trim or whatever trim color you're doing, if you're doing black or brown or pink, whatever you want. But there is that. So, let me see the best way to go at this. So now we gotta add in those window panels. So I'm going to grab one of my boxes and I'm going to shrink it down. So what I'm going to end up doing is sticking this right through there and out the back. So I obviously don't need it that big, but then I can scale it down. And I went from the side that was pretty like parallel or perpendicular so that I didn't have to worry about flipping my box around at all. These other two sides, I'd have to worry about rotating it right away. I don't want to deal with that quite yet. So then I can get in here and um, make it maybe a little shorter, a little wider, use my arrow keys. Yep, I want it a little shorter still to make it look even. Yeah, and then on this side, I don't want it sticking out quite so far. There we go. 
And I don't want a red window. I want a blue window. So there's one side of my windows. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it and rotate it and get it kind of lined up in there and then I can duplicate it again and it actually did the rotate right for me. So there's kind of your base um, bay window. So I can combine everything, group it all, make it multicolor again. And I wanted mine to be a little bit wider. So then I just kind of skewed and played with it this way to give it that look what I was going for. And then half of this is actually inside of that wall, as you can see. And then I just made it look how I wanted it to. So that is um, a pretty simple bay window. If you don't want this pyramid or you want it more flatter, you don't want the one on the bottom, you want that flat, you kind of have that free will to do what you want. This is your dream home. So but that's a way that you can do a bay window.